for the sign of Gemini. Hello and welcome to my channel. We got the Ace of Swords and Temperance. So the Ace of Swords for your present time, it's showing new beginnings of, of some sort in your life, possibly on several fronts. Just know that sometimes this new beginning, it can be started by a separation, some type of separation. Uh, it could be a relationship from a job. It could be from a situation. Uh, just know that as anxiety producing as such new beginnings can be, underneath it all is good beneficial energy that's trying to take you to where you need to go, where you really want to be. So this card, it calls on us not to be afraid to take a leap if it's in our best interest. So it's paired with temperance. Now temperance... It's showing that all should be going well, your relationships and friendships and just overall things are going better or quite well. And you, need, you may need to take a look at some deep personal issues if you have any and see if they're standing in your way. And if they are, try to work through them, integrate them because the idea is to do what it takes to find balance. That's what temperance is about. Find balance in your relationships and with your goals and aspirations. So basically for the present time coming up, um, mid-May could go into late May, maybe June. Ace of Swords and Temperance. So you've got a lot of new beginnings coming, here, coming up for you. A lot of great new beginnings. But... They'll be started by some sort of separation. Maybe you're moving. Maybe you're taking on a new job and leaving an old job. But some type of separation brings you to a lot of great new beginnings. So there's some things you got to put a stop to, and then you, uh, which can be a challenge for you. Yeah, because the Ace of Swords could be some challenging things that you have to put a stop to, and then you. You embrace a lot of beautiful new beginnings. And you have a clear understanding uh, overall. And then you go into temperance. It looks like you, you're going to deal with some deep personal issues if you have any. And you find balance and you have a peace of mind. So this is beautiful. Beautiful. You could be uh, having some sort of reconciliation with someone or reconciling. I hope I said that right. Reconcile. Reconciliation. Yeah, so peace of mind. Anything that you felt guilty about, any mistakes that you made in your past, um, try to forgive yourself, let it go, because it's the only way you can truly make progress in, in life and just moving forward. So it's about balance, peace of mind, and new beginnings. But... There's some things that's going to come to an end. Some things that's going to stop. You're going to cut things out. Maybe, like I said, maybe you're moving from an old neighborhood that you've been at for all your life. And then now you're moving to a new neighborhood. And it brings new beginnings. Great new beginnings. So, why don't we move over and take a look at how they see you. The person you're dealing with. They see you as Two of Cups and Queen of Pentacles. Now, this Two of Cups, it refers to romantic partnerships, but it's not its only connotation. It can speak of balance, friendship, joy, sharing. It's showing that things are likely to be going well, and you'll be feeling more than usually loved, cared for, and content. So... They see you as the ideal partner. They see you as a union. A great connection. There's harmony there. Now they also see you as the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is showing that you could be spending time, money, and energy on your home. Getting it to be more comfortable. And this is a good thing provided you don't take on too much debt. People could be looking to you for insight or advice or something like that. 
and you'll be able to help them if you decide to do so because this is a time period when you're going to get a whole lot accomplished so once again they see you as two of cups ideal partner that they would possibly want to take to the next level yeah with the two of cups he has great potential yeah the potential for true love is there with this two of cups and that's how they see you and they want um they want you they see you wanting comfort in this connection wanting to make it more comfortable with this queen of pinnacles showing up here they can see you as down to earth very caring sensible um, they see you as a housewife that's the queen of pinnacles yeah so that's beautiful really nice how they see you there's harmony there that's how they see you So, let's take a look at how you see them. Oh, like the star. And then you see them like the devil, this devil card. Now, the star card is about feeling inspired, more hopeful about the future, very confident, confident that your needs are being met. could be financial and um, emotional, both, or both, with a star card. Just know that nothing can be taken for granted, but it's unlikely, like I said with a star card, that your confidence is misplaced. This could also be a spiritual card where you find yourself feeling at least for a time at one with all of creation. So it's not a common feeling, so make sure you savor it. Yeah. So you see them like the star card. Whereas this connection could, could uh, may well be ready to move to the next level. That's what the star card means when it comes to love and relationships. You see them as feeling rejuvenated about you. Hopeful and they got a lot of faith. Any grief of the past that they had with you or this connection, they released it. Yeah, they have released it, and that's how you see them. Now, it's paired with the Devil card. Now, the Devil card is very interesting. Just know that no matter what your situation, that you always have options to choose from. First things first, don't let other people tell you that your options are limited. If you come to that conclusion, be sure you're coming to it on your own. Regardless... It's crucial to remember that you can free yourself from whatever restrictions are holding you back at any time, at any time you choose to do so. You may have the feeling now that you're not in control of your life. Sometimes this will happen as a result of your own actions, but more often it's a byproduct of inaction, of taking no action. So take action, whatever steps you can to give yourself the feeling however slight of being in control even if it's even if it's just taking a choice or making a choice on what you're going to have for dinner small steps they're important too so you see them as having some addictions devil energy yeah uh addictions could be greed envy materialism obsession sexual lust alcoholism uh, or just plain old devil energy. But it's with the star card. So you see them. As having some, some hope. They have faith that. They can overcome these addictions with with you being in their life because yeah you see them trying to let go of this devil energy and uh like i said
like I said, you see them as possibly being ready to, to take this to the next level. But they could be dealing with some things, some addictions. So let's move on over. Let's take a look at why it's happening. It's happening due to the Five of Swords and the Tower. The Five of Swords, you see this man running around with these two swords in his hand, and he, he looks like he's ready to just uh, cut out anything that comes towards him. It doesn't matter what it is. He's just gonna go swinging, swinging with those swords. So it's about finding yourself with some mixed feelings. Could be about life in general, or maybe a few people in particular. Don't ignore these, but don't feel like you have to speak every word you're thinking and feeling either. Or just slice everybody that comes towards you. Because you could ruin the very things that you want the most. Such as close friends, intimate relationships with your friends and lovers. So think several times. Think several times before you really let someone have it, even if you know they deserve it. You gotta try to pick your battles. So why it's happening? Because there's some conflict. Um, now this Five of Swords, it could be about an abusive relationship, some violence there. Or maybe you or your person feels bullied by you or by them. Now it's paired with the Tower card. The Tower card is about trying too tightly to hold on to the status quo, which can be a disaster. It's about rolling with the changes. It's likely that some people, situations that you've counted on as being there for you, they may no longer be there in quite the same way. This doesn't have to be drastic because change is the nature of life. And if we try to prevent it, it's going to be like trying to row upstream without a paddle. And if you've been building some castles in the air, this could be the time that some of them come crashing down. Keep in mind that's only a problem if you let it be, because you can replace them with some more realistic and reachable dreams and goals if some fantasies do fall apart this month. Dreaming is important, but it's important to be living in a reality too. So... Why it's happening, Five of Swords and the Tower. There's some conflict. Mixed feelings. And uh, something comes crashing down where as you or your person is enlightened, you're awakened by this disaster. Something falls apart. So, if you absolutely, positively don't want to see the connection come to an end, this is an important time for damage control and for clear communications. Don't make assumptions. you got to find out for sure. Yeah, conflict and then something, something comes crashing down in this connection. So... Basically, for this reading, we'll recap this reading so we can get a clear picture. The present time, there's a lot of new beginnings, great new beginnings, but it starts with a separation, some type of separation. Like I said, you could be leaving a job and then going to a new job, moving uh, from a neighborhood you lived in all your life, going to a new neighborhood, and then all of a sudden, these great new beginnings and possibilities happen. And it brings temperance, it brings balance, and a peace of mind. And your person, they see you as the ideal partner. And they see you as comfort. Comfort with the Queen of Pentacles. And you see them as the star, re re rejuvenated. Uh, it looks like they could be dealing with the, some devil energy, but they, they're working on it or they're trying to work on it because it's a star card. Like I said, it's about being rejuvenated and, 
inspired and it's about any like I said any pain that you had that you're dealing with it's released uh, there's a lot of inner clarity so you see them they they it looks like they do have some addictions maybe just um devil energy we all know what that is trolls are devil energy um devil energy is just anything that's causing a problem and that's feel like it's holding you back could be causing problems towards other people not just yourself but like i said um devil energy addictions things that we know need to stop that's bringing us down or bringing other people down um, but it looks like they're working on it because the star card is all about it's about hope and getting inner clarity and um, like I said releasing any any things of the past or anything that's bringing you down and why it's happening because there's some fighting there's some arguments in this connection, mixed feelings. This could be you or your person. And then something comes crashing down. You get the tower moment. And it had to happen. Yeah, looks like it had to happen. So things are not quite the same anymore. But you your or your person or the both of you, you're enlightened. You're awakened by this disaster, whatever came crashing down. And it probably started by this fight. Yeah. Probably started by a fight. But um, it could have something to do with um, this devil energy. Your person um, having the devil card showing up. Uh, it comes crashing down, but... And you get the tower moment, you're enlightened, but I'm picking up that everything turns around for the better because you got the star card here. That's a very powerful card in the reading. And it brings balance after the tower moment because we got temperance. So it looks like a lot of things are cut out, possibly the addictions. Yeah, with the Ace of Swords, some things have to be cut out. It looks like your person is dealing with their addictions really well, or they're trying to, and it probably caused a lot of fights, arguments, and then the tower moment came. Now, the tower moment could be about the situation ending. I'm not picking up the relationship is ending or the connection is ending, but some situation is ending in this connection because you got the star card it, uh, the connection it gets rejuvenated mm -hmm. and then you got these new beginnings on several levels and they see you as the ideal partner so it looks like you guys are just working working things out but there's been some fighting there and, and um, mixed feelings and things came crashing down and then there's rejuvenation and new beginnings. So it sounds like a work in progress. A relationship that's working, that's a work in progress. That's what that that's what this reading is about.